The World Bank is forecasting troubling economic news between the pandemic, high inflation, and international conflicts this year. The global economy is on track to slow for the third year in a row. Economists predict most economies will grow slower this year and next year than the decade prior. In addition to the economic decline, the bank says the world is failing to meet its goals of tackling extreme poverty, disease, and climate change. Let's bring in Gordon Gray. He's the director of fiscal policy at the American Action Forum. Uh, Gordon, uh, many people are probably wondering how exactly does the global economy impact them and how could they be affected? So let's talk about it. Why should people care? Well, I think it's important to, to recognize that <clears throat> part of the reason why the uh, World Bank is uh, uh, projecting uh, lesser economic growth this year than last year. Part of that is they actually thought last year was going to be worse than it was. And so I think there's uh, we sort of defied those expectations last year. So um, in, uh, relative to that, uh, you know, sort of higher, higher growth relative to expectations, I, th I think their outlook is, is that um, growth was necessarily going to come down given uh, inflationary pressures, geopolitical events, uh, uh, and other uh, aspects of the global economy. And so I think part of that, or part of the their uh, projection of deceleration is sort of relative to recent history. Um, but uh, to speak to how significant this is for, for Americans, uh, part of the reason why uh, global growth last year uh, was stronger than the World Bank expected is because the U.S., uh, had a stronger and more robust economy than a lot of us expected. The U.S. is a big part of the global economy. Um, and so I think it's important that, that part of, you know, the U.S. is a big part of the global economic average that the World Bank is looking at. So here at home, um, I think we need to, to actually take the advice of the World Bank's chief economist in, in this report, which was to look at the secret sauce for uh, investment booms, and that's getting your uh, budget under control, expanding opportunities for trade, and, and basically the playbook for uh, how to uh, encourage economic growth among um, uh, developed and, and, and liberal economies. Hey, Gordon, kind of an inside baseball question, but an important one. Uh, sure. How exactly do economists measure the world's economy? Uh, so that's a that's a great question. Um, it it, uh, it is more or less uh, a, a difficult composite sort of sort of average weighted average among uh, the, the the global economies. But um, the data, just the sheer data collection that both the World Bank and the IMF uh, have to undertake to, to wrap their 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 heads around uh, the global economy statistically is a tremendous undertaking, and they're sort of one of the rare clearinghouses for this kind of data. And which countries' economies are stronger right now, and, and which will fare worse through this cycle? So, I, um, the the U.S. has been uh, has been particularly resilient, um, uh, the uh, and has has done uh, a, a better job than than the euro area, for example. Within Europe, there are some countries that are stronger. Um, we can look. Uh, in in the the Pacific, um, you know, J Japan uh, has come through uh, pandemic um, uh, fairly fairly strongly. Um, but when we we look elsewhere, like uh, you know, China is a real risk uh, to the global economy. Um, as much as there's a lot of talk about um, sort of decoupling, it is nevertheless a tremendous consumer and exporter, um, a tremendous. Uh, spoken in in the uh, the global the wheel that is the global economy, um, and so there's some very real uh, risks uh, specific to individual countries and their performance. And then layered on top of that, you have sort of global phenomenon in in geopolitical events. I think you know there's uh, the effects of central bank tightening on capital flows. Uh, in the face of inflation. So there's some other sort of events that do pervade in cross borders. Long story short, there's a lot of competition and a lot going on right now. Gordon Gray with the American Action Indeed. Forum. Gordon, thanks again for joining us. We appreciate it. Thanks so much for having me.